Synchronicity University has an absolutely incredible May series coming up, and this is not to be missed. Superstar astrologers are going to be with us and all right now at Choose Your Tuition Rate, as low as just $5 a class, an unheard of rate to learn from these astrologers. I will be teaching the Definitive Relationship Course Coming up with my favorite techniques, Alejo Lopez teaching a widely requested topic on midpoints, harmonics, and aspects. And Michael Luton's previous course on his favorite techniques is going to be available as a digital download. And as a bonus, you get a live Q&A class that he and I are going to do together. And look at this speaker series and these incredible astrologers, including a real superstar in astrology today, the one and only Gemini Brett. All of these incredible programs are available right now for as low as just $5 a class, an unheard of rate, our very famous Choose Your Tuition rate at OnlySynchronicityUniversity.com. Links are in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in class. Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2024. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. Powerful energies are with us, and there is this very important concentration and rare events taking place in your opposite sign. Now, this has to do with partnerships of all kinds, business partnerships and professional alliances are covered here. Um, I think the overwhelming majority of Libras are going to find this the most important month of the year where it comes to love. You're going to experience these energies largely in the context of love. So I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But let me describe some of these energies for you now. Um, we have the sun here as we start the month. On the first of the month, Mercury here will go retrograde and will stay retrograde right to the 25th. Venus will move through your opposite sign from the 5th and the 28th. But more importantly, we are going to have these three planets, Sun, Venus, and Mercury, meeting the North Node in the sky on the 5th, 17th, and 25th, respectively. I'll dive into what that means in just a little bit especially in the love portion of the video, that's for sure. But by far the most important celestial event to take place in your opposite sign now is going to be a solar eclipse. This eclipse in your opposite sign is going to be hand in hand with Chiron. This is huge. There's no other way to put it. This is you feeling deeply vulnerable, wide open, emotionally exposed to another person, to a one-on-one -on -one alliance in your life, and you wouldn't have it any other way. Now, this sense of vulnerability may feel like it comes out of nowhere. That's how eclipses like to work. But in this case, we're looking at a total solar eclipse. And we're looking at Chiron exact to the minute conjunct, a total solar eclipse. This is extremely rare celestial phenomenon. Yes, there are 360 degrees in the zodiac. Each degree is divided into 60 minutes. And we are looking at the exact degree and the exact minute that is extremely rare to have Chiron meet a total solar eclipse and your vulnerability could in an instant change everything where it comes to a key one-on-one -on -one alliance now new people could come in out of nowhere and either there's going to be this sense like almost immediately like you could say anything share anything be vulnerable but this is also mercury retrograde in your opposite sign it's possible this is someone you were aligned with in the past as well but this really gives you a chance to look at the depth of wounding and vulnerability that is there. New people or fresh starts are very much on the agenda. The fact that we are going to have big planets meeting the transiting North Node in your opposite sign, I gave you the dates a moment ago, 
means that a doorway is opening from which new people, places, things, situations enter, which represent karmic blessings. They represent a sense of the possible, the new, the next, and they pull you forward towards more and better in your life. Blessings of all kinds can open up to you as a result of the new people that you are meeting now. So stay open to new connections, including in business, including professionally, because among these new connections that you are making now, infinite possibilities open up for you and a real sense of progress in your life, professionally and personally, becomes that much more likely. Now, it is going to be on the 21st of the month, the 20th if you're in the Americas, the 21st in most of uh, the world. We have a very rare celestial phenomenon set to take place, and this is Uranus meeting Jupiter in the sky. This divine meeting will take place in a deeply consequential part of your sky, having to do with profound change and truth, having to do with your understanding of wealth, how you understand it, how you wield it, power, how you understand it and how you wield it is covered here as well. And so this is deeply fortunate energy. It's breakthroughs and it's positive change and feeling like life accelerates forward in ways that you hadn't necessarily anticipated until it showed up. This could be that application that's been asking you for more and more information where it comes to trying to access a grant or a scholarship or a loan, uh, feeling as if it comes together in ways that you hadn't anticipated or something even better showing up for you, uh, blockages clear away as you feel a sense of growth. Now, I do want you to be mindful. Remember, Mercury is retrograde until the 25th, although Mercury will station hand in hand with the North Node. Someone, a one-on-one -on -one connection could end up being tremendously helpful to you, but just be careful if you're signing documents because Mercury retrograde tends to represent energy that says, there are certain details that you're just not seeing that could actually end up being really important. Or what you think you need and you actually need, well, it could look very different once Mercury goes direct. So pace yourself and be yourself. You know I like to say that as you navigate this time. Uh, this energy of Jupiter and Uranus can also bring with it the kind of psychological insight that feels like it washes you clean. It changes you profoundly from the inside out. It finally allows you to leave some burdens of the past behind so that you can live that much more fully, feeling regenerated as a result. And where it is that you've been working towards meaningful change in your life, in just about any area of life, either the fruits come in in a big way at this conjunction, or you begin a process that is very blessed, that will quickly show you positive transformations in your life. It is going to be on the 23rd of the month that we will have this month's full moon. And that full moon takes place in a part of the sky that has to do with money you earn, money you spend. Self-love and self-esteem are covered here as well. Here's the thing. This full moon is speaking in a conversation of tension with Pluto. Not necessarily the easiest energy. This can actually be quite challenging. I do want to be straightforward with you on that. But this energy does promise a different understanding of what really matters in terms of how you're earning your money and how you're spending your money. In many ways, this represents asking yourself some tough questions to get your relationship with money itself right, to understand it with greater depth and any emotional issues that may need to be looked at around prosperity might arise for you at this time. In a more literal sense, yeah, it could be that an expense comes up at this time and you're really trying to have those resources come together, but that is going to be the case for very few uh, Libras out there. Self-love, self-esteem being covered here, I think that is going to be an area where some opportunity for powerful work to occur can transpire, but can also through asking yourself some tough questions and doing the work, provide you with the most opportunity for profound healing at this time. The power that money 
can give you and the power that it doesn't have to give you or the money you wish you had so that you could have something that isn't really about what you're trying to have. These are the types of matters that might just be illuminated for you at this time. If you are trying to secure money, meaning you're working for it because this part of the sky is different than where the massive blessings are that has to do with access to resources. This is about generating, creating the resources. Um, the great thing about when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. Sometimes you just have to do more to have it come together for you. And in this case, asking yourself tough questions about what's worth doing and what isn't, even if those questions are scary, even if it's hard, you are going to be shown a way that ultimately leads you to feel that much more fulfilled. And it is rooted in self-honesty, making it that much more meaningful. Now, when it comes to matters of love, that is the massively important news this month. I think that that is going to be such a huge focus to most Libras out there uh, with a sky like this. That is the area where at the eclipse, there may be new understandings or new meetings that end up feeling either profoundly vulnerable, exposed, or healing, or a combination of all three. Those connections of those big planets to the North Node suggest a doorway opening from which, as I say, people, places, things, situations, this is your opposite sign. New people are coming in here. And it might be that you align with them professionally. It might be personally. It might be that this is the seed moment, the very beginning of something that is to be as we navigate forward, especially in the fullness of time. Um, but it might also be instant as well, especially considering that eclipse. Eclipses bring awareness very quickly for the most part. It is either redefinitions, fresh starts, or fresh chapters, or brand new people. Love, and wherever you are in love as you start this month, must change. It must be different in one way or another. Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign means that it's important to consider things are not as they seem in key ways. But when you get that clarity, it comes quick and it is super obvious as well. As that clarity just feels as if it opens up a pathway towards greater love than you've known before. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, this is just about some of the best cosmic skies you're going to get to meet somebody new now. I always say participate in the unfolding of the universe, be out and about so that the universe has lots of pathways from which love may be able to find you. But it is a time that is incredibly valuable to your journey, to your growth, to your progress. So Pace yourself and be yourself. You know, I like to say that, but be open to connecting with others throughout this month, but especially in the days around the new moon. And it'll happen in ways that you didn't expect that may just feel like it comes out of nowhere. It is about you understanding where you are in love and how you feel about it. Not necessarily about meeting someone who is forever and ever. That might be the case, but more likely you'll connect with someone and you come to an understanding of where you are in love, and it ends up being an important experience. For those of you just starting to date someone, well, like I said, Mercury's retrograde in your opposite sign. Things aren't necessarily as they seem or what you think they are. And so keep that in mind. Mercury retrograde here means that breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. But again, stay honest with yourself. Stay open to the possibilities um, knowing that this is going to be a time when it may feel like a lot of emotion is stirring for you or this other person. A lot of vulnerability is arising for you or this other person. And it's a chance to really see how it is that you feel about them. But again, you're not going to have clear answers until we get later into the month. But what you can do is gather experiences with this person or perhaps with someone new. And for those of you in an established bond, again, breakups that happen to do not stay broken up. It's important not to hold your partner to anything like really consequential promises made just because things look different once Mercury goes direct. 
And especially considering how much vulnerable energy there is here. You do want to pace yourself a little bit as you navigate this time. But for all that, we have the real promise here of new understandings and new chapters with this person that you love. And in an instant, leaving the hurts of the past behind, whether they took place with this person or someone else. But it is possible that even though you may not be seeing things clearly, a month like this does get you honest, especially on the other side of Mercury retrograde. So much of the Mercury retrograde is about your own journey, your own perception. Then Mercury goes direct and you're seeing the relationship differently. And the overwhelming majority, it's going to mean deeper connections. But there is going to be a percentage of Libra's out there, if you don't even know if you're in the right relationship for you or not, if it's on your radar or not to even ask that question in an instant, it becomes very clear whether or not you're going to navigate forward with this person. But that clarity comes late in the month. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say, well, look, there is so much here, isn't there? It's got to be the eclipse. It's going to change what you understand as partnership in an instant and likely for the better. Stay open to the truth, your truth, wherever that might take you. Chances are, as you come to understand that truth, it'll heal you in the process. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month at NadiaShawSuperstars.com where you get expanded exclusive horoscopes. All superstars get access to a monthly event and higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. It's a hugely important month. I hope you make the most of it and it will be a great month. Enjoy.